Beyond its captivating landscapes and bustling markets, Morocco is a land filled with fascinating and often surprising facts that reveal the depth of its heritage and the uniqueness of its character. In this exploration, you'll discover a side of this North African nation that goes beyond the usual stereotypes and tourist brochures. So, let's set aside the guidebooks for a moment and delve into the lesser known, yet captivating aspects that make Morocco a country worth knowing better. 1. The symbol of love is the liver. In Moroccan culture, the liver is often regarded as a symbol of love, and this symbolism holds a significant place in the country's rich tapestry of traditions and beliefs. One of the most intriguing expressions of this symbolism can be found in Moroccan cuisine. The liver is a prominent ingredient in many traditional Moroccan dishes, such as Castamicuere, which is a flavorful dish consisting of spiced meatballs cooked in a rich tomato sauce with sautéed liver. Offering liver-based dishes to guests is a way of showing affection and warmth, reinforcing the connection between the liver and love. In Moroccan literature, love stories frequently incorporate references to the liver. Additionally, in Moroccan folk medicine, it is believed that the liver is closely linked to emotions, particularly matters of the heart. A healthy liver is thought to contribute to emotional well-being and by extension, the ability to love and be loved. 2. The Blue City Nestled within the dramatic landscape of Morocco, there exists a captivating gem that has captured the imagination of travelers and artists alike, the enchanting Blue City of Morocco. Known as Chefchaouen, this picturesque town is situated in the heart of the Rif Mountains, in the northwest of Morocco. The story of how Chefchaouen became enveloped in shades of blue is as fascinating as the town itself. Legend has it that the tradition of painting buildings blue was introduced by Jewish refugees, who sought shelter in Chefchaouen during the 1930s. The color blue holds deep significance in Judaism, symbolizing the divine, the sky, and heaven. Over time, the practice spread throughout the town, and today, almost every building, wall, and alley in Chefchaouen is painted in various shades of blue, from pastel to vibrant cobalt. 3. Three New Years Moroccans have a special way of celebrating three different New Year's times. They celebrate the Islamic New Year, called This New Year follows a different calendar because it's based on the moon. Another special New Year for Moroccans is the Berber New Year, known as Yenayr. This one is all about celebrating Morocco's native Amazai or Berber culture. Moroccans also celebrate the new year that the rest of the world does on January 1st. While it's not an old Moroccan tradition, it's become popular, especially among young people and in cities. 4. Cats are everywhere. Morocco's reputation as a cat-loving nation can be attributed to several factors. They are deeply woven into the fabric of daily life and often feature in local folklore and traditions. Cats have been cherished and respected in Moroccan society for centuries, and their presence is regarded as a symbol of good fortune and protection from evil spirits. One of the most iconic images associated with Moroccan cities like Marrakesh and Fez is the labyrinth in Medinas, where stray cats can be seen strolling through narrow alleyways or resting on sun-soaked rooftops. Locals often leave out food and water for these free-roaming feline residents, further enhancing the country's reputation as a cat-friendly destination. Furthermore, Islam, the predominant religion in Morocco, has a special affinity for cats. According to Islamic tradition, the Prophet Muhammad had a deep love for cats and even showed kindness to them. 5. The Red City Marrakesh owes its moniker, the Red City, to the distinctive hue of its historic buildings. The city's walls and many of its structures are constructed using the characteristic terracotta-colored clay known as pisse. 
This unique architectural style, which gives the city its reddish appearance, is a testament to the ancient Berber techniques passed down through generations. 6. Snake Charmers Snake charmers are a captivating and enigmatic aspect of Moroccan culture. While some may think of them as a relic of the past or a trope from exotic tales of the East, the truth is that snake charmers do indeed exist in Morocco, and their presence continues to intrigue and mystify both locals and tourists alike. These skilled performers are commonly found in the bustling medinas and souks of Moroccan cities, especially in Marrakesh, Fez, and other tourist hotspots. What truly sets Moroccan snake charmers apart is their ability to handle venomous snakes, most notably the North African cobra, also known as the spitting cobra. These snakes are not only deadly but are also capable of spitting venom accurately over a considerable distance, making the practice all the more daring. Snake charmers, however, have developed techniques and tricks to keep both themselves and their audience safe during these performances. 7. A lot of movies have been filmed in Morocco. Over the years, a multitude of movies have been filmed in Morocco, making it a sought-after location for both international and local productions. This North African country offers a wide range of settings, from the vast Sahara Desert to bustling Medinas and historic cities, making it a versatile and captivating backdrop for various cinematic stories. The Moroccan desert, particularly the Sahara, has been featured in numerous films, providing an awe-inspiring and otherworldly setting. Movies such as Lawrence of Arabia, 1962, and The English Patient, 1996, used Morocco's desert landscapes to depict the vastness and desolation of arid regions. Another popular filming location is the coastal city of Asora, known for its picturesque medina and historic architecture. It has been featured in productions like Game of Thrones and John Wick 3, adding a touch of medieval charm and coastal beauty to these films. Warza's 8, often referred to as the Hollywood of Morocco, is home to several film studios and has been used as a backdrop for numerous epic films and television series. Morocco's cultural diversity is another reason why it has become a favorite location for filmmakers. 8. The first country to recognize the United States as a country. Morocco holds a special place in history as the first country to officially recognize the United States as a real country, and their friendship has lasted a long time. Back in 1787, when the United States was just getting started as a nation, Morocco did something pretty remarkable. They were the very first country to officially acknowledge the United States as a legitimate and independent country. At that time, the United States had recently gained independence from British colonial rule and was endeavoring to establish itself as a legitimate nation among the world's community of nations. Much like starting a new venture or club, the United States required acknowledgement and acceptance from other established nations. Morocco, under the leadership of Sultan Mohammed III, took the initiative to acknowledge the United States as a bona fide nation. On December 20, 1787, the Treaty of Peace and Friendship was signed between Morocco and the United States. This treaty was more than just a piece of paper, it symbolized a promise of friendship and cooperation between Morocco and the United States. Morocco's recognition was a watershed moment for the United States, signaling its arrival on the global stage as a legitimate and respected nation. 9. Morocco was found by a relative of Prophet Muhammad. Morocco was established by a man named Idris I, who had a family connection to Prophet Muhammad, an important figure in Islam. Around 1,200 years ago, North Africa was made up of various tribes and leaders. Idris came to this region and formed alliances with the local Berber tribes. With their support, he established his own rule in what is now known as Morocco. Idris was a follower of Islam and he played a key role in spreading the Islamic faith among the people of Morocco. Today, Morocco is a diverse and dynamic nation with a rich history. The fact that it was founded by Idris I, who was related to Prophet Muhammad, is an important part of Morocco's history and has left a lasting impact on the country's culture and traditions. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.